Now these intros can be a little bit different. Typically, you see me have it on a table where I span it up and down. This is different. This has no bands, so there's nothing for me to actually show off for the video. So why not just go ahead and just do this? I've had this cigar for a while now. This is the Dragon Slayer, also legally known as cigar with no name or the unnamed cigar, the United Cigars. Oh. Oh, and I cheated a little bit. I typically do that whenever I put a cigar away. I always sniff it because it just have it. I'm in the process of finishing every year the dragon cigar review that's out there. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to finish it. That is my goal with this year. Before I even just break the cigar down, why is it called cigar with no name? I haven't have a clue of why it's cigar with no name. I have no idea what company may have threatened quite a bit of companies with you know the name Dragon. I want I I wonder why the cigar is a cigar with no name. I I I don't have a clue of who of who it could be. It sucks though. Well, on top of that, too, there is a cigar called the Dragon Slayer, so it's not the only one. So it's kind of like you're taking the name of a already named cigar. Yes, there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of cigars out there. You might name a cigar something along the same, you know, ways a little bit, but it's like Cigars are both an English and Spanish thing. You could have even put it in Spanish to maybe play it off. Again, I'm not going to see any other company. I don't think I'll see any other company do a pledge or a La Historia other than Ipicario. But they might do like a play on thing as in like La Historia de Cuba or La Historia de Nicaragua or the history of Nicaragua, the history of Cuba. A historia de Dominican, uh, yeah, I can see stuff like that, but not just La Historia, because La Historia is by E. Picario. I'm just gonna end a little rant in the beginning, and just break down the cigar. Just for the initial smells, it's like chocolatey, earthy, just for the wrapper. It's been in my humidor, I don't know, six months now? Yeah, but for six months. This is a 6x54, the wrapper being Mexican San Andres, Viner being Dominican, Philip being Dominican, and Nicaraguan. The only other thing that's been revealed is that this is a $12 cigar. The MSRP is 12 bucks. That is the wrapper, that is the binder, that is the filler. It's also the Vitola Toro 6x54. It's a kind of thick cigar. It's definitely a little bit thick. But has a lot of aroma to it. Wow. Chocolatey, earthy, <laughs> and a little spice. But the foot seems to be a little floral. A floral foot, the earthy, sweet, chocolatey wrapper. I'm intrigued. Let's just get into it. I'm trying to be careful with it because it is an older cigar. It's been aging. I don't want any little thing to make it unravel like that. You see what I mean? Nah, I mean, and I fucking called. I fucking called it. It's. I called it and I have a cutter with the backing to it. I have a cutter with a back, so it shouldn't overcut. So I don't know why it's unraveling. I'm going to be highly careful with the cigar because I don't want it to unravel and only have one of these. I'm doing matches for today. I'm a little different than my typical ST DuPont. That looks pretty. 
Go from black to white. All right, let's get into the ace notes. Wow. Like a conglomerate. Of multiple things happening at once. Earthy, leathery, chocolatey, coffee, spicy, nutty. Look at the construction so far. Yes, it's slightly canoeing. We'll fix this up in a second. But like, for example, I don't know hard to see, but it's like you could tell that the tobacco is nicely packed. This braiding appearance is not going to be a part of it. Appearance, I typically do with like the band work or the box work. Since unfortunately the whole situation with um, a certain company I don't know about, this United company could have not made a band or a box associated with this cigar with no name. But since the project was going to be Project Dragon Slayer, appearance is going to be taken out for this review. I'm getting like this mushroom taste too. Oh, this, like I said, there's a lot of things that's a part of the cigar. Mushroom, earthy, leather, woodsy. Like this mocha latte feel to it. It had floral on the foot, but I'm not getting anything that's floral. So that might be just unique to just the aroma element to the cigar, not taste note wise. I think that might be it for the first third. Let me just do a couple more puffs and see if there's anything else different. If not, I'll see you guys in a second. In the tail end, I'm still in the first third. The tail end has a little subtle floral to it. This is a good, this is actually a good tasting cigar. I think this is a fair amount into the first third. It's actually getting more floral. And sweeter. The earth is still the prominent flavor note of the cigar, but it's not a bad earth. It's not like a bitter, like the Amazon basin style dirty, swampier earth. This is more along the lines of what I described. Even though, yes, I described it as the Amazon Basin, the Petrichor, which is when it's a, it's a dry season and it rains for the first time in a while. That earthy, sweet smell you get, like a sweet scent. It has this quality. The Amazon Basin was a little bit more of a pungent earth with that sweet earth element. Which is earth on top of earth on top of earth on top of swamp on top of like rainforest on top of jungle with the Amazon. This one, when I describe Petrichor, this is Petrichor. It has an amazing note to it, which I am actually enjoying. The draw is fine. There's a slight resistance to the draw. The smoke output, as you can tell, is fair. It's not overly, not over the top when it comes to the smoke output, and it's not underwhelming. It's solid. The construction is slightly uneven with a little bit of a canoe, but nothing groundbreaking. You also have this licorice taste to it. United Cigars, you did a good job. You still have the cedar element in the cigar. After finish and the notes settle in your palate and after you retro, there's a little hint of leather that still resides. Right now, this is more blooming of a floral, of a floral sweet 
chocolatey, earthy cigar. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. And then continue to the last third. We'll see you guys then. So I'm at the last third of the cigar. And it's kind of ugly when it comes to the look of it. It's tasty as hell. I'm liking the cigar. I'm at the last third and the flavor notes are kind of diminishing a little bit, but everything is the same. Floral, the earth, the chocolate, the leather, the this, the that. Everything about the cigar is exactly the same and the last third, just more watered down. I don't mind it. This is actually a pretty good cigar. This is also a very slow burning cigar. It takes a while for you to smoke it. I'm not sure when I started this project on actually recording it, but I don't mind it. This is something you can just sit back and relax to. And I definitely could tell that this might be a medium to full. Because I am low key feeling the nicotine content of the cigar. Smoke output is still exceptional. Everything about this cigar is exceptional, except the wrapper. It's slowly coming apart on me. You can kind of see it from, oh, well, it's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see it from the cap and it's very oily as you can tell by my fingertips. I don't know. I should have got more when I had the chance, but I think I'm deep enough where I could actually start doing my rating system where this time it will only be two, which will be the construction and the taste notes. So let's start it off. For construction, I'm going to have to give it a solid six. The reason I'm saying that is because yes, the slight resistance to it, but I do like not like a straw where it's just like you're breathing regular air. There is a small amount of strength you get to put into the pull, but not that much. The resistance is very little. Smoke output is great, but it's the fact that I only cut part of the cap and it was already to just unravel. I'm not sure if it was a user issue. I'm not sure if it's a cigar issue. I'm just going to knock points just for the fact that it just became undone. I had to hold it like this the whole entire time to switch in between like this to going like that. Or when I switch hands, I had to like very carefully go like that, like alternate any other ways of me smoking a cigar. I want to have the ability to just free hold my cigar any way I want. For the fact that the cigar is very sensitive when it comes to the wrapper after you cut in the cap. Not, I don't like that. That's not something I would like. So wrapper wise and the construction wise, it's going to be a six. For taste notes, I'm going to give this a go a solid. Yeah, not solid. I'll give it a seven and a half. It has components I like. Very floral, very earthy. But sometimes a little bit too consistent. I don't mind having this cigar again. I don't mind getting maybe a pack of five, not a whole box of this cigar. I don't mind the taste notes, but it's not the best tasting cigar in the world. When it comes to the other dragons, then yes, it's definitely better than the other dragons. The ones I have tried in a while, Gurkha, fortunately, is like my top dragon so far. Everything else seems to be just either a hit or miss. This one, to me, is a hit. I enjoy this a lot, but it's complex. It is sophisticated, like I said in the beginning, but it's not the best season cigar in the world. It does its justice for a cigar for $12 compared to all the other dragons being like 25, 35 plus. If you're looking into trying out a dragon or a year of the dragon or celebrate it, even though we're towards the end of the year with the whole year of the dragon stuff, this could be your best bet to actually enjoy one that actually has a good taste to it. 
spice I described in the beginning is now 20% of how it was in the beginning. There's a little bit of a hint of the spice in the retro, but not overpowering. And so the last third is a very diminished version of the second third. The only piece of advice I can give United Cigars is do yourself a little bit of research. You actually could have done a Dragon Cigar. The fact that there was already a Dragon Slayer Cigar out there in the world, maybe change it to something else, something that could have worked well with the Dragon name. Dragon Fighter, maybe Dragon Force. Don't think along the other lines than Slayer, since it was already made. That's going to conclude my review of the cigar. This has been, this has been United Cigars. Cigar was no name, aka Dragon Slayer. Hope you guys enjoyed today's review. And as always, I love your face. And I'm out. Peace.